In this problem, we are given the slope of a line and asked to determine the slope of any parallel line as well as the slope of any perpendicular line. Parallel lines are lines that never intersect. Parallel lines always have the same slope and different intercepts. So if we have parallel lines, if the first line has a slope of a over b, the second line also has a slope of a over b. As an example, here we have two parallel lines. Notice the slopes are equal. Both slopes are two-thirds. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect and form a 90 degree angle at a right angle. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. It's also true their product will always be negative one. So if we have perpendicular lines and one line has a slope of a over b, then the slope of the second line would be the negative reciprocal of a over b, which is negative b over a. To find the negative reciprocal of a fraction, we interchange the numerator and denominator and then change the sign. As an example, here we have the graph of two parallel lines where one line has a slope of negative two-thirds and the second line has a slope of negative three-halves where negative three-halves is a negative reciprocal of two-thirds. So going back to our examples, for the first question, we are given a line that has a slope of positive one-half and therefore the slope of any line parallel to the given line must have the same slope of positive one-half. And now to find the slope of any line perpendicular to the given line, again, the given slope, we'll call it m sub one, is one-half. And therefore, if the two lines are perpendicular, the second slope must equal the negative reciprocal of one-half. If we interchange the numerator and denominator, we have two over one, and then we change the sign from positive to negative. Negative two over one is equal to negative two. The slope of any line perpendicular to the given line is negative two. Next, the given line has a slope of negative three-fourths, and therefore the slope of any line parallel to the given line is negative three-fourths. And now to find the slope of any line perpendicular to the given line, if m1 is equal to negative three-fourths, the line perpendicular to this line must have a slope of m2, which is a negative reciprocal of negative three-fourths. We interchange the numerator and denominator, which gives us four-thirds, and then we change the sign from negative to positive, and therefore the second line that's perpendicular to the first line must have a slope of positive four-thirds. For the last example, the given line has a slope of seven, and therefore the slope of any parallel line also has a slope of seven. And that to find the slope of any perpendicular line, if the given slope is equal to seven, if we want seven over one, we need to find the negative reciprocal of seven over one. If we interchange the numerator and denominator, we have one seventh, and then we change the sign from positive to negative. The slope of any perpendicular line must be negative one seventh. I hope you found this helpful.